Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm back with part two of my Scrapbook Expo haul from the Scrapbook Expo this past weekend in Milwaukee. And the next place that I went to was Mon Ami Gabby and they have such wonderful embellishments but I really, really, really um, did not need to be buying any more of those. But not that I need to be buying anything. So um, they had a few new things in the bling mesh department. And so, um, I got those, um, I think they were a dollar, I can't remember if they were a dollar or a dollar twenty-five each, but then you bought five and you got one free. So, um, they had this cute one that I had never seen before, but it was like flowers. Little doily flowers, actually. So, um, they had two colors, so they had a purple one and they had it in gold. So I got one each of those. And then they had this cute little noob that I hadn't seen. It's like a bunch of flat back pearls. So um, another way to look at it is nail heads. So they had it in silver. So I got it in silver. I got it in gold. Turquoise. And there's one missing. I didn't see that. And also in Fuchsia. Then I visited Tall Mouse, which also has lots of bling and textured stuff. So um, these, all their textured items were $1.25 a piece. Or if you bought 10. Well, if you got bought five, you got one free. You bought ten, you got three free. So I bought ten. But I got crepe paper to make more of the crepe paper flowers that I did the tutorial on. So I got black, fuchsia, kind of a light turquoise, and a yellow. And then they had some of these little textured, like, colored straw pieces, I guess. Hey, maybe. Um, so I got that one in kind of a purple one. It has like glitter, glitter hints in there. And then they had lots of mesh pieces. So I got a black and white. You can tell if you can see that it's black and white. I got a silver with blue flower centers. I got red and white on a black background then there's like a fuchsia nail head and clear one and then your traditional black and white diamond mesh then they had the glitter mesh so I got a silver one and then a different pattern that looks kind of like a, a honeycomb weave but got that in gold and then they had um, the straw light kind of texture see it better in the white so that's what I got from Tall Mouse and then real quickly since I'm just going to try and do part one I'm going to show you stuff that I got from a class that I took. Now, this class was a mixed media class. And it really wasn't my favorite class that I've ever taken there. Um, but we did different techniques using gelatos, which is what this color is. Um, and we kind of did brush strokes with it with a, um, a brush. And then we splattered. And all this was with a foam brush too. But um, we did different techniques um, with some modeling paste and then gelatos and some glaze and stuff. So here's just some of the techniques that we, we did. We used stencils and modeling paste that we colored with gelatos. Um, we wet gelatos. We did um, dimensional stencils and then cover, colored them with gelatos. 
We did masking techniques. We did a glazing technique. And then we did some stuff that she called drip. But I didn't like the drip part too well. Mine didn't work. So some of the those are some of the techniques. Um, but the best thing for me about the class, um, we're actually supposed to be doing a layout and so she gave you instructions on the different techniques and how to do it. But it came with this Faber Castell mix and match mixed media sampler. And so I have a gold gelato, um, a big brush pen, um, the metallic pen, and metallic pencils and a yellow pencil. So that was pretty cool that it came with that and also with a foam brush. Um, it had extra pieces in there for you to work with the layout on. But then in the class, I actually won one of the drawings because most of the classes um, have door prizes. So I got the green mix and match gelato set. Um, and it comes with a stamp and a brush. So that was pretty cool because I don't have that color. And then she gave everybody a mini mister. So that was the one class, and honestly, I don't remember how much that class was. I want to say it was like $27. Um, the other two classes weren't any techniques classes, but I usually always take them. Um, they're, they're called like the latest and the greatest, and they show you new product previews, and you get products. So I think this one was $45 for this class. And so, um, different ones, I've taken them every one that I've gone to. So, different ones are different because they're taught by different people. And I, from what I understand, um, those instructors buy um, the stuff themselves that they can't get stuff from vendors. So, um, in this particular one, um, I got glue dots. I got two ink pads. Another glue stick. Um... And then there's also some Technique Tuesday items inside. There is a little um, package of journaling cards. And then some moss stamps. So that was in there. Um, and these two things, this Graphic 45 Flowers and these um, Queen & Company Pearl Blings, I actually won those in the door prize drawings. And she was pretty cool because she just kept throwing the names back in after everybody had put pulled and she went through them at least a couple times. Um, but some of the other things I got were this line of paper from and embellishments from Pebbles. So, um, I got these layer paper flowers. Um, masking tape stickers. And these cute dimensional stickers that look like ribbons. Thought those are really cute. And then there's the Walnut Grove line of paper. So, there was two sheets of each one. Sorry for the glare. And there's a wood grain one. And a yellow one. And they're double sided. Which I can adjust that just a little bit. So that was one set. Then the next set was from Jenny Bowling. And I don't have any Jenny Bowling stuff, so that was kind of cool. And they called this the latest and the greatest, but actually, the latest and the greatest is what they preview. The stuff that they give you actually is not the latest and the greatest, but it's still um, very good. Um, got these little rhinestone bows. And then there's these alterable alphas. And there's some flag stickers, some letter stickers, and then the papers are black and red, and 
these are die cut papers. They're single sided. But then these other ones in the collection are just various sheets of paper. And then this last one is actually a coordinations um, paper with an embossed shape. Me and this light is just not working this evening, but so sorry for the lighting issues. And the last grouping that she gave us was from Authentique, and she gave us the six by six um, paper stack called Curiosity. And it's 36 pieces. And it's about school and learning. And then there were the little words in the two colors. And then some stickers. 12 by 12. And then some 12 by 12 papers. So that was that class. And then the last class was a new one that I had not seen in any other ones that I've been before, but it was the same concept. It, it was the latest and the greatest, but it was the latest and the greatest, and it was tool, cool tools. So, um, I think it was also $45. And you got this bag full of tools. And this was a very good buy. As far as I was concerned. For $45. And I'll quickly show you the tools that we got. We got a glue stick. And we got a dot and glue, um, glue dots. And then we got the Magic Cut Ribbon Cutter, which um, is the, that thing where you put the ribbon in so your ribbon won't fray on the edges. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I know that sells for $24.99 at Michael's. And yeah, you could use a coupon, but still... Um, that's a pretty good deal. Um, the Imaginus Imon, Imon Cordless um, Glue Gun, which is really cool because I don't have a cordless glue gun, so I thought that was really nice. And then we got this thing called the Ribbon Roll Control. So it is um, a holder that you can put ribbon in. It's um, clear. But I had never seen that before. So that came in it. And then last but not least, we got this um, Clever Lover Quick Borders Craft Punch um, by Marvy. And it's an interchangeable punch system. And it came with one cartridge here that's like the ribbon threader. But it's also got the little eyelet border bottom so um there are other ones that you can get and buy you can see down there um that you can interchange with so i think i've seen this system at michael's before and i'm not sure how much it costs but um i thought all of that was pretty good to get for the 45 dollars and then she previewed a lot of other tools and gave other tools away. Um, I did get a drawing in this particular one, and I got the We Are Memory Keepers Heart Attack Distress Tool. So um, that was my time at the Scrapbook Expo. It was fun walking around looking at all the things. I was a little disappointed though because I was hoping to get. Um, some of the new Tim Holtz paints 
but I didn't see any at any of the vendors. And then the other thing I really wanted was the Prima um, dial tag pads, but nobody seemed to have that either. So I'll have to guess order that online. But I just kind of want to share with you guys what I got and say I missed you guys because I wasn't able to get on the internet last week when um, I was out of town for work. So um, I didn't get to watch much mini videos. So I'm going to have to be catching up this weekend, hopefully, and doing some crafting and watching some videos. So anyway, thank you for watching. I know the video is kind of long, but um, thanks for hanging in there. And as always, you have a great and very, very blessed day.